all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. A fight so nice, we need to see it twice. Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez 2 at welterweight. The first fight was everything people wanted it to be, and then some. On May 22nd, 2021, in Las Vegas, USA, the two best super lightweights at the time, both unified champions, met to crown an undisputed king. As if the stage didn't set it up enough, fight week rolled around and the two fighters played their part as well. Obviously, it didn't stop there, because then came the weigh-in. Moments after they were finally separated, on the way back to their hotel room, they met again. And of course, nothing good came from that interaction either. Finally, Saturday night came, and right from the opening bell, it was clear this was going to be good. Ramirez was on the attack, having early success with his combinations. Up until the great counterpuncher Taylor landed cleanly. Oh! And opening up this sixth round, Josh Taylor scores the knockdown! In the very next round, with some confusion in the clinch, Taylor got Ramirez again. Catch his shot! Right here. Puts it down! What a shot! That was a rookie mistake. This might make it seem like a one sided fight and make some people question why we would want to see the sequel. But the difference in the scorecards that night was those two knockdowns. Had they never happened, Ramirez wins the fight. And even if one of them didn't happen, the fight ends in a draw. So, there is no argument for this not being an entertaining close matchup. Both men have fought once more at 140 since their undisputed matchup. Taylor defended his titles in another very close, disputed fight against Jack Catterall. And Ramirez dominated Jose Pedraza to unanimous decision. But they have also stated that their days at 140 are probably numbered, and the move to welterweight is just a matter of finding the right fight. Well, we think we found it. And before anyone says there's no point to seeing them fight at 147 and that it won't show anything, having these two guys less drained and more powerful can only be a good thing. Ramirez has also stated multiple times in the lead up to Pedraza that he wanted the rematch with Taylor, no matter their weight. It's time to double dip. These two are world-class fighters looking to make the big jump to a stacked welterweight division. A fight against a familiar foe in the new weight class might be the best starting point. This is a must-see rematch.